Hey guys, it's the Slow Cloth here, and today inside of this monster analysis video, we're going to be going over Little Aeneas, and I'm going to be telling you guys whether or not this monster is worth buying out of the new bounty hunt. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Alright, so first of all, this monster is available for purchase out of the new bounty hunt. It is the new Fugitive Hunter monster. So you will need to buy it for real money, and I'm going to be telling you guys whether or not it is worth it in this video. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Alright, so Little Aeneas is an attacker, and its traits are Harden and Fugitive Hater, and then Possession Immunity and Stun Hater. So all of those traits are just really bad. Those are just bad traits. And then the relics are Sword and Shield, which are okay, but they don't give anything that can give stamina. So that is kind of a problem as well. So just all of this up here just has a lot of flaws, and it's just a kind of a problem. Now let's go on down to the pros and cons. So great power, solid raw damage output, spammable stun, neat self-support move, and mirrored shield, which that move gives true vision and skill mirror, which is okay, and then decent relics. And then its cons are garbage tray, easily denied, relics don't help regain stamina, which is something I already mentioned, and then dull move pool, no way to boost damage output outside of stun hater, which isn't very great, and then unacceptable stamina costs and cooldowns, and metal in a magic meta. So it has a lot of just really big cons that make it just not very great. So now let's go on down to the move set. Alright, so it has the uh, skill mirror move, which isn't very great, honestly. It also has a stun hater with blind immunity. And then it has a 40 earth damage with stun, which is alright. It has another stun, but with zero cooldown, which is decent. And then it also has an AoE metal damage with single target in the same move, which is alright. And it has a 70 earth damage. So yeah, the moves are just kind of bad. None of these are really even that great at all. And it doesn't have much synergy between its moves, it just doesn't seem like a very good monster at all. Now if it was free to play, it might be worth just getting to try it out a little bit. But this monster does cost like $30, so keep that in mind. And because it costs $30, it is not worth getting. So yeah, don't worry about getting Little Aeneas, he's not very great. Let me know down in the comments if you guys think he's better than I think he is. And I'll see you in the next one, over the like, share, and subscribe, goodbye.